we want to remotely assess a runway in some part of the world, its condition, we can do that remotely with a drone system. Some of the best and brightest small unmanned aerial system engineers from within the Department of Defense work together as an integrated project team to take RADAS to a whole new level. What we're developing here transitions to so many other areas within the Army and the Air Force, even the Navy. RADAS is Rapid Airfield Damage Assessment System. It involves the use of small aerial drones serving as eyes in the sky to assess and provide crucial life-saving information on the status of an airfield after an enemy attack. We have multiple sensors, multiple different technologies that could be part of future RADAS iterations and that's very exciting to us because it provides even better tools for the warfighter. In order to meet the timelines for what's uh, out there, the challenges that we see now, uh, we went in with uh, the senior leadership with the possibility that we can incrementally get there, but we don't need to try and hit the home run now. We're going to hit singles and score in the long run. The rigorous system testing takes place as needed at an ideal location to put RADAS to the test on the massive MacDill Air Force Base Auxiliary Field at the Avon Park, Florida Air Force Range. We're getting real popular with unmanned aerial systems, mainly because we have an 8,000 foot runway that's within restricted airspace. If we want to plan mobility corridors for troop transport or vehicle systems from an airfield or a port to the fight, an aerial reconnaissance system using the same types of technologies will apply. Reporting on another AFCAC Civil Engineer Laboratory Warfighter-focused mission for AFIMSC, I'm Brian Godden.